The Tesla Model 3 and the Tesla Model Y recently received an infotainment system computer upgrade, which greatly improves the app loading speeds and also the responsiveness of the central touchscreen. But just how much better is this new infotainment system computer that's equipped with an AMD Ryzen processor as compared to the previous generation that was equipped with an Intel Atom processor? Stick around as I dive into the details and show the performance gains with a new infotainment system computer. In late December, as reported on Twitter by Tesla Scope, Tesla began delivering the first Model 3s and Ys in North America with a new infotainment computer. Do note that this infotainment system computer is separate from the full self-driving computer, which runs the ADAS functions and also Tesla's autopilot software. The infotainment computer is what powers the central touchscreen and also all the infotainment features like Tesla Arcade, Tesla Theater, and so on. Tesla's new third generation infotainment system computer has a more powerful AMD Ryzen processor, which replaces the Intel Atom A3950 processor in the generation two system. Based on what I have seen, this new infotainment system computer equipped with the AMD processor is able to load various infotainment apps about three to four times faster than the previous system. Notice just how smooth and responsive the new infotainment screen is, as you can see in these video clips that were recently posted on the RVT YouTube channel and how quickly it's able to load maps as you zoom in and out. I definitely recommend you go over to the RVT YouTube channel, watch the full video, and I'll make sure that there's a link to this video in the description. Now, when it comes to specific information about the hardware that Tesla has built into this new infotainment system computer, we may not have all the specifics yet. However, according to this Tom's Hardware article, it appears likely that Tesla is using the same CPU for the Model 3 and Y as is found in the new Model S and X. This article says, quote, if the reports are accurate, Tesla uses the same CPU found in the latest Tesla Model S and X, a custom Ryzen YE180 FC3 T4 MFG. The chip features a quad core 12 nanometer 3.8 gigahertz Zen Plus CPU with four megabytes of L3 cache. Now the performance gains of this new computer go way beyond just the processing power for loading apps and also for scrolling and loading maps. If indeed the Tesla Model 3 and Y have the same infotainment system computer as the new Model S and X, this new infotainment system computer should have a much more powerful AMD graphics card as well. So the actual gaming performance and the availability of future graphic intensive games should be greatly increased. Now, when it comes to the exact specifications of this new infotainment system computer, we don't have all the details from Tesla. However, there have been some teardowns of this infotainment system computer that give us some details. For instance, the YouTube channel Engineerix recently tore down a Model S Plaid infotainment system computer and discovered a custom AMD Ryzen processor and a separate custom graphics card that is estimated to be similar in performance to an AMD Radeon W6600 GPU. I will put a link to this full video and definitely recommend you check out the Engineerix YouTube channel for more great teardown videos like this one. Based on the best information and best estimates that I was able to locate, here's how these two infotainment system computers compare. Based on my research, the old infotainment system computer had an Intel Atom A3950 processor. Based on an official spec sheet from Intel, you can see there the clock speed of this processor is up to two gigahertz at its peak. When you compare that to the AMD Ryzen processor found in the new computer, according to a Tom's Hardware article, the clock speed estimate for this new processor is somewhere around 3.8 gigahertz. When it comes to the graphics card, it appears like the Intel Atom system has an integrated graphics card that has a clock speed of up to 650 megahertz at its peak. The new infotainment system computer from Tesla now has a separate graphics card as was shown in the Engineerix video I mentioned previously. And according to estimates from that video, this graphics card likely has performance very similar to the Radeon Pro W6600 graphics card. And according to this Aeroged article, it likely has a clock speed of around 2.8 gigahertz. 
So as you can see, based on these clock speed estimates, this is a huge upgrade for the Tesla system. It is important that I note that this new infotainment system computer does consume more power than the previous generation system, and thus it should have a bit of an effect on the range of the vehicle. According to this Inside EVs article, based on the European Tesla models that are equipped with this new infotainment system computer, here are the Tesla Model 3 and the Model Y WLTP range adjustments. This article notes that there are no changes for the Model 3 rear-wheel drive. However, when it comes to the long-range all-wheel drive Model 3, depending on if you equip the vehicle with 18 or 19-inch wheels, this new system results in a between a 1.7 and a 2% range loss. When it comes to the performance version with 20-inch wheels, this new system leads to a 3.5% range loss. Note, however, that when it comes to the Model Y, the range is actually slightly higher. This Inside EVs article points out that this might be due to a larger 82 kilowatt hour battery now being included in the European models, or possibly because of some other efficiency improvements. Do let me know what you think about this new infotainment system computer upgrade. And also if you're watching this video and you have recently taken delivery of a new Tesla Model 3 or a Model Y that's equipped with this new infotainment system computer, let me know how well it's working for you. Also, I wanted to remind you to go over to cleanerwatt.com and check out the 2022 Electric SUV Buyer's Guide. You can purchase a copy of this digital SUV Buyer's Guide and I'll make sure to put a link in the video description. Well, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. I'd like to take a moment to thank the Patreon supporters who support me every month and help make this content possible. A special thank you to my performance supporters and also the other supporters listed on the screen. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community I've set up, I'll put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.